violence, loss, and destruction at the hands of ISIS. The United States is proud to support powerful events such as Nobody's Listening, because such efforts ignite greater empathy and support for these communities. And I'm, I'm humbled by the power of the stories expressed through this virtual reality experience and through the artwork, and I am honored to experience it. These stories must be heard so that the world never forgets what happens and never repeats it. The United States will continue to support the recovery of the Yazidi survivors and the greater Yazidi community. We're committed to finding permanent solutions to help the Yazidi community rebuild and recover, including to facilitate your return to your ancestral homes and to heal from these wounds. The United States has provided $470 million in assistance to support the recovery of religious and ethnic minority communities and we will continue to provide significant support, including through our great United States Agency for International Development. ISIS's campaign and intolerance sought to eliminate the diversity that is Iraq. And they failed. Look around and their failure is evident. Thanks to the strength of the survivors here today, and thanks to the non-governmental organizations and community groups such as Yazda, who are working hand in hand with interfaith partners such as the Catholic University of Erbil to assist diverse communities, Sunnis, Shia, Turkmen, Shabak, Christians, to rebuild. You all are the ultimate example of tolerance coexistence, peace, and hope. I look forward to the panel discussions today. Interfaith and civil society dialogue is an important step in addressing the suffering endured and to ensuring that no community is ever again targeted because of their faith, culture, or background. It's an honor as well to participate in this event with Survivors Affairs Director General uh, Sarab Barakat. Implementing the Yazidi Survivors Law is an important step in the healing process for Yazidis and all of Iraq's components. The United States will continue to support this important effort and to advocate for the government of Iraq to robustly fund and staff the Directorate's important mission. And of course, we recognize the importance of justice in addressing the pain and loss stemming from this genocide. The pain may never be fully healed, but through events such as this today, we honor those we have lost and the brave survivors that are here. Let us pledge to continue to honor their memories, their resilience, and their determination through action. And let us be steadfast in our commitment that no nation or entity will ever again be allowed to inflict such a hateful ideology upon the world. Thank you. <laughs>